Right guys, we're back right now. And today we are going to Barcelona because we've got tickets to go see Bruno Mars. Barcelona. <laughs> today I'm wearing my new socket because yesterday I had my socket changed. I've got a test socket on right now because my old socket, my carbon fiber one, was uh, too big for my limb. My limb has shrunk down again after six months. So I've got a new socket on today, which is a test socket. As you can see, it is see-through again. And it's got the blue bit at the bottom. So we're going to be testing this out uh, on a plane in Barcelona at a concert, find out if we can use it, like we use a normal socket. Pete's in the North Airport right now, parking the beast up. Hey, it's looking good. Cheap parking here in Tenerife, it's about 11 euros a day, so you might as well just get it parked, it's easier. The new socket's feeling good already. Oh, I'm not even plugged in. It'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Test socket, maybe. Test socket. First stop today is a nice little coffee shop, but it's not a coffee shop that you think it's not smoking weed in the air, it's nothing crazy. Although there is a lot of that in Barcelona. So if you're one of the amputees out there that likes to smoke weed to get rid of pain or whatever, then Barcelona is definitely a choice for you because there's so many different coffee shops, coffee shops, uh, you can have a big split not this uh, and sit down to that, but not this one now. This, one's, this, one. this one's a real coffee shop, yeah. But yeah, there you go. So if you do start smoking weed, it's like Amsterdam here, maybe. Amsterdam. So one of the best things to do in Barcelona, we think, and it's every single way you go, every single way you go is the same, all right, yeah. We're on the beach front right now, and we've ordered some tapas. Woohoo! And a big beer. Shangri-La. And some sangria. Shangri-La. Sangria. So we've got tapas and sangria on the beach front. One thing I will say, right, yeah, on the port there's some cobbled streets. Oh my god, they are difficult to walk around if you've got a prosthetic leg. <laughs> Just be aware, cobbles everywhere. But, you know, we're getting used to it, it's fine. And if you like knockoff gear, oh my days. I'm talking, they've got trainers, belts, bags, football tops, purses. Throws, head wraps, caps, the lot, man. Anything you need is right here in Barcelona. We're on the, we're on the way to the Olympic Stadium to go and watch Bruno Mars. How are you feeling about it, baby? So this is Hayley Singh right now, right? Yeah, she says that she's wearing a bright orange top so that he can pick her out in the crowd and then marry her. Think I want to marry you. I think he's about five foot, so I wouldn't bother. Two foot two. Two foot two. Just an update on the leg right now as well. It's working perfectly fine. This brand new test socket is fine. I'm not jumping around in it, obviously, because it'll crack. Uh, don't jump around it. Don't run around in it. Don't anything. Walk normally, and it's fine. He was amazing, he I'm was not joking. Amazing. He was amazing, absolutely amazing. Absolutely spot on. And for the other amputees watching this right here, uh, on that field there, it was a little bit uneven, so it's a bit hard to stand around, but I did manage to stand around for the whole, the whole thing, the whole show. 
from yeah. start to finish I stood there and it wasn't a problem it wasn't a problem so if you want to go to a show if you're an amputee get yourself there mate don't worry about it you sound look at the door we're knackered what I like, what I like to say right here yeah, is everybody else's foot's hurting but only one of mine's hurting 50% off, baby. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right now. All else, baby, with the LEDs in it. Bosh. 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 Don't give him any more beer. So, we're going to be proper tourists today and we're going to go get an open top bus. <laughs> be proper tourists for the day. <laughs> Barcelona tourist bus, open top. We get headphones. Tell you what's going on with the city's history, discount. architectural stuff. And I also got a uh, disabled discount as well, which was five or off. Happy days. So if you're in Barcelona, don't forget to tell them that you've got a, a prosthetic leg and they give you a discount. If you don't ask, you don't get. Right, and half a food is stopping here right now. We got off the bus at the cable cars. And this is going to go up the side of a mountain. I'm just going to get some nice views from up there. <laughs> and I'll keep you posted on what's going on. So, you don't get any disabled discount, but you can get on if you are disabled. Just ask for help and they will put you on it. The open top bus gives you a little booklet. You can get a two euro discount in there anyway. So, keep that on your pocket. And when you get up here, you get a two euro discount. Bosh, bosh. Bosh! Bosh! We're getting in this one. Right, you get off the cable car at the top right here, next to this castle thing, which looks really nice. But again, cobbled floors, mate. And it's very uneven and not very easy to walk with when you've got your prosthetic. And I'm guessing it's not going to be easy to walk with if you're in a wheelchair, neither. But... It looks lovely. So we've gone for the castle tour at the top of the hill. It is five euros to get in. And uh, we're inside and get a little bit around the castle. So that's it from the Castellera Barcelona on the hill. Uh, as I said before, it is a little bit cobbly, if that makes any sense. You know, it's, it's hard to, to get your balance on here with the prosthetic leg. So just uh, know that when you come up here. But apart from that, it's beautiful. Nice views, it's a lovely sunny day. Barcelona, two thumbs up. So we've got off the cable car at the bottom and we've come to a restaurant called, can you pronounce it babe? Montagie. Montagie. I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you the picture. It looks very nice, the views are amazing, as you can see. Harley's birthday lunch. Harley's birthday lunch. She's 21 again today. We've got a bit of Sauvignon Blanc to go down with a nice bit of tuna that I've ordered. Hopefully it's banging. I'll give you a review straight after. And now we're getting back on the tour bus, mate. Listen, I'm not messing about. If you are here and you come out of this cable car, you go over there and you have some food because it's banging. The food's banging and the view's banging. Get it done. 